hello there. I'm glad you could make it. This old codger was just getting ready to set out on a trip that uh, is going to take us through some of the most beautiful country in the planet. We're going to be touring Finley Ridge. Now, we're going to be going through some pretty rough terrain, though. So I hope you got your hiking boots on. We're going to be doing a little four-wheeling, but most of it's going to be hiking. So grab your walking stick. Come on along. I thought a good place to start this video would to show you some of the beautiful scenery from, from Finley Ridge. That's Coyote Reservoir off in the distance, and look at that countryside. Isn't that gorgeous? Coyote Reservoir is usually kept well stocked with trout during the season. It's our highest lake in the area. It flows down as it flows northward up to uh, Phil Lake Anderson, which is this one right here. Anderson is a seven mile long lake and uh, what you're seeing on the other side, that indentation is where they put the boats in. Anderson is not only a great boating lake, it's a great fishing lake. Boy, they got big bass in that lake and they and I've caught crappie over two pounds in there. So if you like water sports of any kind, you're in the right place for it between Anderson and, and Coyote. But we're going to get on that road now. We're going to drive to the south end of uh, Finley Ridge and you're going to find uh, property there that's on the market currently. And there's some trails leading up to it right there that will give you the clue that you're coming up on the the sign, the Butler property sign that uh, is right there, right where the car is. That's where we've parked. And we're going to be heading up that hill straight on up there. So uh, come on along for the ride and we'll see you at the top. What I'll be showing you is a 20 acre parcel with some spectacular views. All right, we, we made it up here now and uh, we're looking back down from where we came. And that's uh, the road down there. As you can tell from the shadows, it's late in the evening now and we're gonna have to keep moving because the sun will be setting soon. Now you can go to the left here. There's a trail going to the left or uh, you'll find another trail going over to the right. And that's the road we decided to take because we want to go on over to the fence line and show you uh, uh, where the property line is on this side, on the north side of the property. This fence line uh, marks uh, approximately the north uh, property line. So if we uh, go down to the end of it, it stops right, right up here. So we have to kind of sight down uh, to see the to the bottom of it so you can see where the property line goes because looking down below we're going to see a nice flat buildable spot down there and uh, there it is right about in the middle of your uh, picture right now. What you're seeing down there are actually two level areas. The green area that comes first is uh, a little higher than the brown area that's below it. And from that brown area, you can see all the views that we saw at the beginning of this movie. Uh, we're gonna walk down there, but we can't get there going directly from here. It's too steep. We're gonna have to drive over to the south fence line, and I'll show you the path then from there as we walk down and onto that property. So here we are parked at the north boundary. We're going over to where those trees are. That's the uh, south boundary. So we're going to be driving over there. And then we'll take a look back. Uh, now we're at the south boundary and looking back at that fence, where that corner of that fence. Remember that because we're going to look up at that corner of that fence when we get uh, down below also. But we came across this uh, area and we're now parked on the south fence line. And here's where we get out and walk because you can't drive any further. But uh, I always use a stick, a walking stick. It's a good idea to bring one along. You don't want to ever start sliding when you're going down here. This grass can be pretty slick going downhill. And you may not get stopped. But we're going to walk down a ways. And I'll try not to jiggle the camera. I want you to see the path that I'm taking. And as we get down here, I'm going to turn around and, and take a look back up so you can get your bearings and see where we've come from. But we're looking for a draw to the, to the right of where we are. 
Okay, so there's the car where we parked it. We've come down that path, and we're moving to our right now as we're coming down, which would be the left of the screen. And we're looking for a draw. And you see that draw? There it comes. And right down to the base of this, in the path that we're on, you're going to see a green area that's a flat spot where we can walk right on across that draw, right there. See that coming right into the picture there? And on the other side of that, there's a, a path, kind of a cow path, that goes around that hill. So now we've crossed the draw, we're on the path, and we're looking back at the car. You see right there across the top of that ridge there where the car is, the roof of the car. And we're looking at this primarily so you can see where to put a driveway in. That trail that we took down along the fence line, and then we came across the draw, and it came right to this path, and that's the best grade to uh, put your driveway in. We're going to turn it around now. We're going to see where we're going from here. From here, we're going to follow this green cow path right around the hill and onto that area right where we want to go to. You'll see as we get down there, look at there, it takes you right on out and on at the same level as that potential building site and that's where we want to get to now from down here we're going to look back up at that corner of the property remember where the fence corner was up there and uh, look across just to recap the trip we went on over to the other fence line there's the top of the car sitting there over the ridge we came down along the fence line we came across to that trail that went around that little hill see that cow path and it brought us right down to where we are now. And where we are now is that first level potential building site where you'd be free from the wind. But even beyond this, uh, and about six feet below it, there's another level that uh, goes out even further onto the point with better views. That's uh, Co Park that you're looking at up there on the on the ridge, by the way. And Coyote Reservoir is coming into view. Right there is Coyote. Now, this time of night, it's, well, it's about dusk. It's uh, towards sunset. And looking out toward the west, it's going to be very hazy. Uh, you won't be able to see much of the town, but underneath that cloud mass is Gilroy. And now we're moving up toward uh, Morgan Hill. And here you see Lake Anderson coming into view. And you can see quite a ways up Lake Anderson from here, but from the lower level, you get to see around that bend. But now as the sun sinks slowly in the west, it's time for us to make our departure from this little piece of paradise. If you liked that 20-acre parcel I showed you, uh, that's on the market right now for $450,000. And as my old friend Jed Clampett would say, gee doggy, now ain't that something.